Hi, I'm Scott from Ramble Entertainment, and this is State of the Frame Season 1. This is Episode 2 after a half episode last week. What we do in State of the Frame is we break out into different uh, segments throughout the week talking about things within Warframe, things within the state of the game for Warframe. And what we do is we analyze things like anything. We, we analyze anything that might be being talked about, things that might need to be brought up more in discussion, or things that are doing great and could even stand to be proliferated within the game even more. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get into the schedule for this week. Again, Save the Frame is a bi-weekly show. I try to offset myself from the dev streams, so that way if they say something cool, we can talk about it. So, with that in mind, this episode is going to consist of three rambles. Again, these are shorter topics, typically under 15 minutes. And then one topic on Thursday, the main topic of this episode. And those are longer. Typically, I try not to make them over a half hour, but I've been going over a half hour lately. So, Monday, we will have Extracting from Survival and Excavation. That's this episode, this segment right here. Then on Tuesday, we'll have Elemental Conditions. Wednesday, we'll have Stealth Conditions. And, of course, Thursday, the main topic is What Makes a Companion Effective? To those of you who watch, thank you, and I hope you enjoy. So, I changed my shirt because I'm re-recording this first ramble, but getting into the first ramble, sometimes on Stay of the Frame in rambles, I also like to raise questions. And there will actually be two questions in one in this ramble and one in the third ramble. And the question I really want to ask is, should excavation and survival's endless extraction be changed? Possibly be changed to something that looks closer to or is closer to the idea of defense and interception. The reason I want to bring this up is because in DevStream 82 it was revealed to us that uh, there will be, and, and they've said this, that there will be uh, endless relic missions coming. It, these things take time in the development process. They can't instantly be there sometimes, especially with a game like Warframe that has this expectation with it that these updates will come to us uh, rapidly. And again, so basically we're going to be getting endless relic missions starting with defense. Defense in between each five waves will have a screen pop up that will uh, offer the player the opportunity to equip another relic going f five waves forward more. And now it was also said that the Void Traces will scale in 82. Now, don't quote me on that. Go watch for yourself. I might be stating that inaccurately. I should probably rewatch it, the dev stream, again to make sure that is correct. But I believe what I heard was that the Void Traces will scale. Uh, now, that could also suggest that there would be scaling rewards for Endless Missions. And that's important because that means that for the one of the first times we're starting to see scaling rewards and also uh, some structures, some of these uh, structures possibly being changed within Endless Missions, possibly uh, some of the support structures that are already within Endless Missions. And if that's the case, I can't help but wonder if Extraction should be one of these things too. Now, this has been brought up before on the forums. It's been brought up by others. It's been brought up by myself on uh, the feedback section. And some agree with it, and others do not. However, I do think there are some points here that are important when it comes to considering this. And again, I'm just trying to raise this question within the Warframe community, if possible, to see uh, if some might agree, or a lot might agree, and to just raise a discussion. Uh, a good discussion, a critical discussion. So, I want to pull up the graph that this was on DevStream 78 or 79. I seem to be confusing those two dev streams lately, but that's actually pretty small. Let's go ahead and make that bigger on the fly. Let me find my mouse. It gets a bit lost in all of this chaos. So 
It's a bit transparent, but for now we're just going to go right over our background footage. And again, this was one week's worth of play that the devs wanted to point to to say what people are playing. And of course, this was at a time when relic missions were almost entirely one relic and go to extraction, so often players would not want to place themselves in a survival or an excavation to obtain relics because those often take more time, although excavations you can do one excavator and just go, which is pretty fast, but nonetheless, uh, if a team were to decide that they wanted to drop multiple extractor extractors, that might get some players stuck who don't want to be, and, and that's part of the point here, but we'll get we'll come back to that. So, as we can see, Exterminate and Defense are the highest uh, played missions here, and then you have Capture, Mobile Defense, Spy, Assassination, and your quest mission before you get to the other endless mission type that is being played the most survival, which is all the way on the other side of the graph. Now, I, in my mind, part of the reason why that defense is so high is because it is easy to leave, it's easy to share experience with your teammates. The Sedna defense, Helene at Saturn, that defense too. Uh, easy to share XP with four players, three players, even another player, and then leave when you choose to, not burdening other players with your wanting to leave. And I think this isn't just a question for public players. I think this is also even worthwhile to those who are constantly with a particular group of friends. Four friends enter an excavation. Four friends walk into a bar. Four friends enter an excavation and one friend says, guys, I'm sorry, I have this thing I have to do after they're like four or 500 cryotic in and they have to go in real life do something that needs their attention immediately. And of course, those friends will likely often say, dude, you're fine, it's fine, we'll just come back. But if there was a method for one player to extract without bothering the other players, that would give them the opportunity to simply continue on their way without having to restart the mission. And I think that that is a benefit to them, too. Now, I'm not saying that this is an easy endeavor. No, uh, this isn't something we can really judge without knowing what the ev working within the evolution engine looks like. That is for the devs to decide whether this is simple or difficult. However, if we're already looking at uh, possibly, possibly putting some structures on top of endless missions, like in defense, where players will be given the opportunity to equip more relics. If we're, all, if we're looking at some of the infrastructure in these missions, I think that this is a thing that could potentially be looked at. Again, I come back to the point that uh, I believe I heard that void traces will scale over the course of defense missions. So if we're starting to look at scaling rewards, I think that another thing that could potentially use improvement within excavation and survival could be extraction. It could be a thing that makes players feel like they don't have to burden other players and seems to, in my mind, benefit the community as a whole. So I'm very interested in what you guys think out there, especially those of you who will watch this video. And thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and move on to the next ramble.